Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, EAA says home-built aircraft accident rate declines. DJI introduces two new drones just in time for Christmas. Sunflyer electric trainer plane begins power on testing. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's November 18th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. EAA reports that fatal accidents in experimental category aircraft continued their decline in the 12-month period ending September 30th as focused programs and efforts by the EAA and others continue to enhance safety. The totals, which include fatal accidents during the 2016 federal fiscal year, which is October 2015 through September 2016, showed that fatal accidents in amateur-built aircraft in the FAA's experimental category fell 17% from the previous 12-month period. In addition, fatal accidents for the experimental category overall, including racing aircraft, those used for expedition only, research and development, and some types of light sport aircraft also fell. Sean Elliott, EAA's Vice President of Advocacy and Safety, said in part, This is tremendous news and this multiple year trend is a credit to all aviators who are focusing on safety. The fatal accident numbers again remain lower than other types of popular recreational pursuits such as paddle sports, horseback riding, and driving all-terrain vehicles. Elliott goes on to point out that these lower numbers are occurring even with a rising number of flight hours in recent years. Drone giant DJI has introduced two new models with the holidays just around the corner, the Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 Pro. Inspire 2 offers powerful capabilities, is lightweight, and is easy to operate. It has a top speed of 67 miles per hour and takes only 4 seconds to accelerate to 50 miles per hour. With the new dual battery system, flight time is up to 27 minutes. A new forward-facing camera offers the pilot the best flight view for operating the master controller, while the camera operator receives a separate feed from the professional Zenmuse camera mounted on the main gimbal. Phantom 4 Pro offers a powerful imaging system for professional photo and video creators, as well as non-professionals who demand excellence from the camera and platform. The camera now packs a 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor and almost 12 stops of dynamic range. Phantom 4 Pro also builds on DJI's original obstacle avoidance system with flight autonomy. There are also so many other features on these two new drones that you'll need to go to the company's website to see all the details. After the break, electric-powered flight training comes closer to reality. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Bill been flying with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at earl-news.net. Aero Electric Aircraft, the developer of the Solar Electric Sunflyer Flight Trainer, announced that power on test on the prototype Sunflyer began in October. The prototype Sunflyer has completed a preliminary review and inspection and has also received its temporary registration from the FAA. The airplane is said to be ready to begin the next stage of the test, including ground, taxi, and pre flight tests. 
Sunflyer is intended to be the first FAA-certified U.S.-sponsored practical all-electric airplane to serve the flight training and general aviation markets. The company claims it features a low operating cost, low aircraft unit cost, low noise, and the elimination of exhaust pollutants. The two-seat aircraft was unveiled to the public in mid-May and was displayed during EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2016. It's Friday, which means this is the usual time for a and Jim Campbell to present his barnstorming session, but today's a little different. As we are transcribing our airborne broadcast, Jim is in Van Nuys, California, making possible the live webcast coverage of Bob Hoover Memorial Celebration. We thought it would be appropriate to use this time to bring you some video clips of interviews with a few people who respected Bob Hoover and shared their thoughts about Bob for ANN's Let Bob Fly documentary project. Here's today's barnstorming as we remember Bob Hoover. Who is Bob Hoover? Bob Hoover is just the greatest aviator in America that ever lived. Well, Bob Hoover is obviously the most noteworthy aerobatic pilot uh, and probably the great-grandfather of aerobatics. He's awesome all the way across the board. Bob Hoover has got to be one of the greatest flying aviation heroes of all time. Bob Hoover's a legend, first off, but at our airport, Bob Hoover is actually a maneuver. That's where you go out and you tip your airplane upside down and you arch it across the sky and you you pour water into a cup while inverted. That, that's called doing the Bob Hoover. Who's the guy? He's a legend. He's done all kinds of amazing things. But we practice the Bob Hoover every chance we get. And we usually get wet, because we're not Bob Hoover. Bob Hoover is the inspiration for all the young Latin American pilot. Best stick and rudder guy of all time. One of the reasons I became a pilot was because of his influence. To me, he's number one. It's one of the premier aviators of our time over the last 50 years or so. A national hero to us in aviation. I loved when he did that here precisely. Uh, he doing the loops with the engines off. It was just unbelievable to see how he could conserve energy on that airplane and could they get to that airplane to do what he did. It was just amazing to see. That's an example of what we should try to attain, those kind of things. But just uh, incredible airmanship. Uh, the quality I liked about him the most is he was a very, very modest guy. There, there are some other people in aviation that aren't quite as modest, and, and uh, even though uh, their, their names are very well, well known, uh, Bob Hoover was uh, the preeminent gentleman, and uh, big, big loss to aviation, and uh, we all loved him. But I can tell you every time I fly, I'm inspired by who he is, and I try to be as much as a Bob Hoover as I can be, which means the greatest stick and rudder pilot ever. That's who Bob Hoover is. After these messages, AMA and Fly Robotics to release part 107 test prep course. The Bristol Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristol is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA, one of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch.
the Academy of Model Aeronautics Education Department, in conjunction with Fly Robotics, is set to release a Part 107 preparatory course. This online training course will provide commercial UAS pilots with the knowledge needed to pass the FAA's remote pilot certification test. AeroVironment has launched its new integrated commercial information solution featuring the Quantix drone and decision support system. Available to spring of 2017, this drone features a simple automated hybrid design that allows a vertical launch with transition capability into horizontal flight. With the election of now determined some experts say, the Air Force may be a big winner when it comes to the government spending. Speculation by some analysts is that the incoming president's budget may mean more planes, lots more airmen, and more flying hours. A draft of the Capital Improvement Plan for Tulsa, Oklahoma airports indicates that more than $38 million will be cut from Tulsa International Airport projects over the next four fiscal years. Projects at Jones Riverside Airport will be trimmed by a half million dollars. Republic Airways has taken delivery of a state-of-the-art cabin trainer at their Indianapolis Training Center. The 15-ton, 60-foot-long cabin trainer is a scaled-down version of an Embraer 17175 interior, complete with a cockpit galley, two-class seating, lavatory emergency escape slide, and more. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Trig Avionics has a track record of producing proven transponder technology that they say is both affordable to buy and cost-effective to install. Trig Avionics produces the TT31 transponder that is a plug-and-play retrofit that's ADS-B capable and to replace the Bendix KT76 and KT78 line of transponder. Trig also produces the TT22, a compact ADS-B capable transponder. Now, the company says aircraft owners contemplating Trig transponder can take advantage of TRIG's compatible TN70 WASP GPS and antenna. This provides a GPS source for the TT22 or TT31 transponder, and TRIG says the price of the TN70 has been reduced to $1,975. TRIG's marketing manager, John Roper, said, with the FAA rebate available, we have reduced the price of the TN70. This means you can now secure a complete ADS-B out system from only $3,763. These equipment combinations meet the requirements of the ADS-B out 2020 mandate. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you Monday.